Steven. So, what do you do? I'm a butcher here at uh, Ryan's Fatty Calf Meat Shop. And? Also a uh, level one CrossFit instructor at CrossFit Old School. Let's walk over here. All right. Uh, so how long have you been a butcher here? Let's see, uh, my dad originally took over the business in, mom was it 2008? Seven, 2007. Uh, started working for my dad uh, in high school. Where'd you at, go to high school? At Warren Central here, okay. uh, local. Um, then uh, while I was in college, uh, also you, worked here. What did you study in college? Uh, fire science and technology. Uh, originally, I wanted to be a firefighter, um, but then my dad and I worked out a, um, a deal. He told me that one day he wanted me to take this over and uh, work for him uh, full time. So then we settled and that's, that's where I'm at today. Okay, so how did you get into CrossFit? Because you're big in CrossFit. Yeah, uh, it's one of uh, the passions that I had. Uh, a close buddy of mine, his name's Shane, uh, he uh, was telling me, he's like, hey, you need to come try this new exciting uh, workout. It's like, it's just really intense. It's kind of what we were doing, it's a lot of supersets. Uh, so one day I came and tried it out. First workout was a workout called Cindy. It's five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, 15 air squats. Uh, I was like, I can do five pull-ups. Uh, it was a 10 minute AMRAP, a AMRAP being an acronym for as many rounds as possible. Uh, started doing it, went about five rounds in, and uh, then uh, I got sick <laughs> right afterwards. Uh, but I enjoyed the intensity. Uh, it just kind of stuck, and I've got really passionate, decided to coach uh, and get my Olympic lifting cert. Here we are today. So you're into the CrossFit, mm -hmm. and how did you progress to where you are now, where you're actually training people? Like, what did you, what did you do to get there? Well, first, I kind of took it upon myself uh, to be able to um, get to the level where I felt like I was comfortable teaching other people. Um, went to Atlanta to get my level one certification. It's a weekend course. Uh, they teach you uh, how to get proper cues to uh, improve people's uh, technique. Uh, so then kind of shadowed uh, and then started uh, coaching people. So coaching classes, hour long class. And were you always into working out? I have been, it's been a big part of my life. Started Did you play at, sports? Yes, played football in high school. Uh, it was, it was uh, something I kind of fell in love with while I was doing that. Wait, Warren Central, mid-2000s, football in high school. Were you guys any good then? No, we were pretty decent. We weren't <laughs> the greatest, but we had a good run. Had a great nucleus of guys. Uh, right. Still close friends with all of them. Did you ever beat Bowling Green? Not at the varsity level, but <laughs> <laughs> we did. Still dragging through are you through. Still, are you still bitter about that? I am. I, I still... Uh, Still a dragon, that's for sure. But uh, I support the kids. Uh, we, we help out a lot of the local schools here. South sure. Warren, Bowling yeah. Green, Warren East, Warren Central, all of them. Uh, anything to help uh, prove What about Greenwood? You ever Greenwood, have Greenwood, yeah. Greenwood. Yeah. I also forgot about that. We got more schools now. Yeah. So you're not you're not bitter enough that you're going to throw the Bowling Green people out? No, no. They're, they're more than welcome to come in and shop actually, with us. Actually, you actually train a bunch of the Bowling Green like school district teachers, all that. How does that help? Like you, you train down at CrossFit. Yeah. You also work here. Mm -hmm. Is there a lot of commonality between customers there? Do you get a lot of customers that do CrossFit? That oh, and then also here, yes. Yeah. Uh, yes, we do. Uh, a lot of our customers follow a paleo diet or Whole30. Um, majority of the stuff that we have here is a uh, paleo compliant and also Whole30 uh, with our breakfast sausage. Um, bacon is paleo approved, but not Whole30 because of the honey uh, that it's sweetened with. Uh, all the meat and chicken and seafood uh, and pork are all uh, Whole30 and paleo compliant. And it's not right now. But you guys do carry veg yes, veggies. Yes, we do. We carry veggies. Uh, that way you can have your source of lean protein, fresh vegetables, and healthy fats to improve for a healthier lifestyle. Trying to get the uh, population away from processed foods and anything that has sugar in it. Now, we talked about Warren Central, but where did you go to elementary school? Elementary school, I actually went to Grayson County. Okay, so are you? were you born in Grayson County? I was born in Grayson County, yes. Okay, and so you moved here. And then, did you start junior high here, or was yes, it high school? Yes, uh, I went to Henry Moss Middle School. Henry Moss, okay. Mm -hmm. And then you went to Western, and what made you want to go into fire science? Fire or? science. Uh, I lost my aunt whenever I was uh, 16 years old to a fire. Okay. Um, 
and I just wanted to try to make a difference in the world uh, and try to save somebody the grief that my family had okay. um, and then try to help out. Uh, the you're you're kind of the guy that I know you do a lot Yes. To try to help the community, different yeah. organizations. What are some of the organizations you work with personally? Let's see. Um, in the past, I've uh, coached Special Olympics flag football. That was really fun. Uh, also taught a fitness class at the Buddy House. Um, the special needs community has also been a big part of my life, too. Why? Uh, let's see. One of my cousins, his name's Junior Morgan. Uh, he also works out with me at CrossFit Old School. Okay. It's really cool uh, to see him. Um, but a lot of the world overlooks um, our Down Syndrome special needs community. They're just normal people like everyone else. Uh, so I just want them to be able to uh, be included and to help out and let the world um, just enjoy their company. Okay, most people are going to notice your tattoos too, yes. and you do local. What's your newest one there? Uh, let's see. Uh, got very uh, patriotic myself. Uh, just got the sun to finish it off. Who did uh, that? Uh, Doughboy down at Carter's Tattoo. Okay. Uh, yeah, he also has the uh, cheese wagon. BG cheese wagon. Beast wagon. B Beast wagon. Beast BG wagon. <laughs> BG cheese wagon. Um, uh, just make sure to shop with them too. Great people there. Uh, Doughboy and I, you can see, have spent a lot of time together. Um, got the cleavers here on my arm. Uh, favorite quote here, whatever what comes, it? face it on your feet. It's a condensed version of a Robert Jordan. Okay. Um, let's see, got Kentucky Long Rifle and Kentucky on the back uh, through there. You got uh, a lot going on there. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot happening And here. you're an Eagles fan. Yes, big Eagles fan. <laughs> we won last night. It's pretty awesome. A little fatigued from staying up that late. Um, did you get down to CrossFit this morning? I did. I so did. you stayed up late, got to CrossFit. So what's your normal schedule? Do you do morning training for people? Uh, yes, I coach throughout the week. Um, primarily on Mondays, and Thursdays, and Saturdays. I coach a class. Uh, but a typical day, I wake up about... 4:05 a.m. Uh, try to get Was to that the today. Gym. Not today. Today I didn't get up till about 5:15. Oh, you you I late guy. In. Yeah, I slept in a little bit. Uh, I follow our competitive sports program, which is like a little more advanced. We have uh, different sections there: weightlifting. Um, let's see, we got a weightlifting component, a core component, uh, gymnastics, and then we also have a wad and the strength to do too. Uh, the they, what? The wad workout of the day. Okay. Yeah. I'm not a CrossFitter, so yeah, you sorry need to, for the terminology. There, there is a very um, religious aspect to. Yes, you've yes. got to know the the yeah. verbiage. Mm -hmm. um, but it, afterwards, I'll spend about four hours in the gym, uh, working out, um, with some rest time, of course. We're not just constantly moving. Sure. All the time. And afterwards, uh, my mom's already been here, starting to prepare stuff and getting it ready. Uh, then I'm here from. 10 to 5.30, Tuesday through Friday is our hours. Uh, Saturday, 10 to 4.30. Um, then afterwards, we got to clean up, take apart everything. I go home, try to uh, cook a healthy meal, and then shower and go to sleep. It's a normal schedule for myself. So there's not much uh, hobby time for you? There's not on the weekends. I enjoy myself a little bit. Uh, like, what's your hobby? Let's see. I know you're... Your I dad? I watch football. Oh, okay. Yeah, watch football. Um, let's see, it's getting to be my favorite time of the year, Halloween. Uh, so I'll probably, I'm, I'm actually going with my father to Waverly Hills this Saturday. Oh, okay. So that'll be really exciting to do that. And then after Halloween, let's mention this really quick mm -hmm. because this is the best time but also the worst time of yes. year for y'all because this is turkey order season. Yes. Uh, this is uh, our busiest time for sure. Where do you get those turkeys? Uh, the turkeys come uh, from the Amish community. Uh, they're free range, all natural, organic Amish birds. Uh, they are put down, let me check the date here, on the 18th, delivered to us on the 19th, and will be available for pickup on the 20th, 21st, and 22nd. So that shows you how fresh that these birds are. And how early should people start ordering? 
I would do it as soon as possible. Like now? Yes. Uh, first come, first serve basis. Uh, we have multiple people have already reserved. Uh, what's the turkey. what's the what's the most you guys remember doing in a year? Uh, it was actually last year. Uh, last year. I think we were close to about 300 birds. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of turkey, so we had to bring in an extra trailer uh, to store them in. Um, hopefully we'll get a larger facility here soon. Cool. And then um, talking a little bit about this being a family business, uh, it's your mom. Yes. Mom. And your dad. Yes. That's awesome. a very odd work dynamic. Oh, yeah. Uh, never an argument, right? No, no, no. No, we have but never how argued. is that? How is that? Because I've met a bunch of people who have family business. Yes. How hard is it to express what you yes. would like to have happen? It's challenging. Uh, two people that have told me what to do majority of my life. Uh, I have to listen to them every day also at work. Uh, but also, the good with the bad with that, um, I, don't, I try not to ever take days off just because uh, we're a three-headed monster here. It takes all three of us to just keep rocking and rolling. Uh, so that's why I don't ever ask for days off because this is my parents. Uh, and We poured our heart and soul to grow the business into where it's at. Uh, so I just want to make sure that I give them my full effort every day. Uh, since you've talked about possibly running this in the future yes. and all that, what have you learned from your mom on running this business? My mom, uh, her relentless worth ethic. Uh, that's for sure more than anything else. Yeah, she was the first one here while I was waiting she for y'all. Yeah, she, she <laughs> is. She's the first one here every day, uh, prepping, getting orders ready. Uh, she's always here. She's always just busting her tail every day. Just uh, being able to watch that as I grew up, uh, that's wherever I've got this uh, worth ethic in myself. I try to pride myself on working really hard uh, and being like her. And then what'd you get from Ryan? Well, from my dad, uh, <laughs> I clear. Well, we we sleep probably about the same amount of hours. Okay, as you know, okay. he's, he's a bit of a night owl, uh, but he's just incredible whenever it comes to ordering and just cutting. When I first started, I couldn't tell you the difference between a ribeye or a New York strip. Okay. Uh, now we've broken down sides of beef, uh, but he's just just very knowledgeable when it comes to any type of cut, uh, how many ounces. I mean, he could look at a piece of meat and tell you how many ounces it is. But you and I have helped beat him over the head about bringing in some of the exotic stuff, yes, right? Yes. Like, what are some of the things you've brought in this year that probably wasn't a Ryan? Ryan, uh, we got Mako Shark recently. Okay. Uh, then we really went rounds about a 65-day tomahawk dry aged ribeye. How'd those sell? Oh, they were gone. The first ones we got in, they were gone the, that very day. Uh, and then we've consistently carried them throughout the week, uh, each week, and they, they, they sell out of here like hotcakes. The biggest question I see you guys get on Facebook is, can you get, yeah. insert rare, random, Yeah. what can you guys get? Pretty much anything you want that's within the USDA standards. I mean, of course, like cow heads and stuff, uh, that they'll, we don't really have much access to that. Um, but if you want rattlesnake, alligator, elk, emu. You just have to order it in advance. Yeah, you just tell me about a week in advance and we can get that in for you. It, it, and that includes large orders, right? Yes, yes. Uh, you can call us uh, ahead of time and place a, a large order. Tell us on Tuesday for an order for Friday or just even the day before helps out so much. Uh, tell us the day beforehand and we can uh, definitely get your order ready for you. What's the most random thing, most unique meat you guys had to order that you were like, really? It's probably the rattlesnake. Uh, that's the one that really shocked me more than anything. Um, Did you try it? No, I, I have no desire to try it. It's not it. bad, it's not bad. It's enough. It's, Let's see, what else is there? Um, uh, uh, that, that's probably the craziest thing that we've had, I'd say. Uh, maybe some uh, turtle. We've gotten turtle before. I know that's kind of popular around this area, but. Turtle? Turtle, we've actually got a turtle. Interesting, gator, you get much yeah, gator. Yeah, we, we actually sell quite a bit of it. And um, you do a lot of catfish around hockey season, because yes. the one thing I do know you get from Ryan is the yes, predator our stuff. love for the predators um uh, it's just incredible fan base if you've never checked out a predators game highly recommend it uh it's just an hour drive down the road uh if then, that if that yeah depending on who's driving sure um, but i would i would highly recommend checking it out uh even if you don't know anything about hockey it's just an incredible environment uh and let's get on ryan's big 
thing. Yeah. You guys every year on Fourth of July do what? Oh, we have extravagant uh, Fourth of July show. He is a kid in a candy store whenever it comes to. Like, fireworks. would you say this room is filled with fireworks level of what you guys do? Ryan, we're talking about your fireworks Hello love. There, How are you, sir? I'm doing well. How much do you love fireworks, Ryan? I love him very much, Brunel. I think he loves him a little bit more than he does me. No. Oh, what is that? You sure? Yeah. He's, he's, he's very and we excited. Should, and we should keep fireworks legal for Ryan to shoot on every 4th of July. I agree. I agree. <laughs> yeah. So, how many how many people do you got? Do you think show up to your firework thing what every you say about? Usually, usually 250, usually 250, 300. Yeah, and that's somewhere. out in Delafield? Out in the Delafield community. Um, my parents put on a great show each year. Uh, it's free invite to come out there and watch it. We also uh, smoke some pork shoulders All right. and have food. Uh, just access for a little bit of everybody um, to be able to come out and watch it and just enjoy the show. A lot of my friends come out, along with just people I have no idea who they are, but nice people. That's awesome. And then. You mentioned Halloween's your favorite time of the year. This is going to come out tomorrow. Uh, so what what will people be able to see you dressed as? Because you actually yeah, I dress, dress as up. multiple uh, costumes. What are you working on this year? I'll wear my traditional bacon costume. Okay. In here uh, I might have maybe our hot dog costume again. If I could get my hands on a T-bone steak outfit, I would really enjoy wearing that in here. But what's your favorite costume you ever wore? Probably two years ago, I was a uh, werewolf. Uh, okay. Yeah, and it was very realistic. Uh, my cousin, she actually decorated it. And when people came to my house for a Halloween party, they had no idea who I was. Uh, I had a mouth on there uh, that was um, kind of glued on. It was it was an interesting night. I was painted all brown, um, and a couple of my other buddies, we were just classic uh, um, Halloween creatures, Dracula. So are we open on Halloween? Yeah, we'll be open on Halloween. We'll have candy available for any of uh, you guys who want to bring kids in here. Um, we'll have some good stuff. My dad, if my dad doesn't eat it all first, he enjoys candy. So uh, <laughs> we can get that in here. Uh, just feel free to bring your kids by. Okay, and then what do you think people need to know about Ryan's that might not have been here? Because every now and then when we do a giveaway or we talk yeah. about something online, I've not had the chance to go to Ryan's. Either it's yeah. they just don't have the availability to get over here yeah. or the hours or whatever thing. And like it being a three-headed monster, you guys have to have your yeah. hours. So yeah. what, what do you think, you, what's your pitch to them to kind of try? To try to come over here? Well, whenever you uh, support a family business, a local family business, uh, you're supporting a family, a, a son, a mother, and a father uh, that works each day. You're not putting money into corporate America, you're putting money back into the community, uh, which we try to support local businesses around here, Gerard's Tavern, Home Cafe, White Squirrel. Even DeWalt's. DeWalt's Concessions uh, over on College, is it college? It's college. It's over uh, Caddy Corner to Sky Pack. Yeah, yeah. It's over there. Uh, he smokes our bacon burger, our pork shoulder. Uh, he's got great quality stuff there. How many restaurants are you guys in right now? That's actually what they're working on um, now. We have let's see, Gerard's Home, Las Vegas. I'd say four to five. Uh, they vary. And then there's others that drop yeah, in yeah, every yeah, now and then. Others. Uh, we actually have somebody that's selling our bacon burgers at. Uh, Jackson's Orchard now. Okay. It's really working well for him. He's a new customer of ours. And you do work with local farms. Yes, uh, Grant's Farms. As you can see, Grant's Produce Farms. Yeah, uh, and right uh, now he's he's going to deliver today because yeah. this is this is yeah. Tuesday. This so this yeah. is the first day back after what Saturday was the last yeah, day. Yeah, Saturday so. was our last day. And uh, who else do you work with? There's don't you get your salad, lettuce? Yes, uh, from Sunny Point. Uh, Sunny Point Lettuce. Uh, they're in a bit of a. Uh, um, oh yeah, we have JD's Bakery too. Uh, they're actually going to make a delivery right now. We have the reds there. Then we have. The All right, tell me burger. about this. Oh, tell yeah. me about because this is your buddy, right? Yeah, a uh, great friend of mine, uh, Brennan. Uh, he also works out with me every morning. A really close buddy of mine. He makes uh, different types of. We have peanut butter and almond butter here. You have Deja Blue, which is a blueberry. Uh, you have Date Me. You have Bee's Knees, and he has some other flavors that are coming out. It tells you whether it's gluten-free, um, paleo. Um, let's see, and it gives a nutrition label on there. He makes this uh, in a kitchen. Uh, it's great, great quality. 
Uh, he also uses the local honey that we have here. Um, we sell this from d and &E. Is that the one in Auburn or is this the one here? Because you use, you yeah, use have, one in Auburn. Th this one, he has along the coast of uh, Barron River. Oh, uh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. It starts at Cave City and comes all the way down. Oh, you know, who, who am I thinking that's Auburn? Is it your uh, maple syrup? Yes. Uh, and the, we might be out of it at this time. Uh, you might be out, which is yeah, fine because you're on it. Oak okay. Brothers is the name of them. But that's um, kind of the point with you guys. You, you're not just someone who talks local. You actually bring in local yes. people. Who else are we missing? There's going to be someone that uh, gets mad at us. Get you guys. Is that finish Sorry. line, candied jalapenos, anything? Let's see the Kentucky Proud. See, we got Kentucky Proud labels and stuff like that. So. I mean, there's so many people you work with local, it's hard to keep in touch there. So, if... Oh, and we're also in uh, talks, too, with uh, the WKU farm. On the uh, cheese? On the cheese and also beef. Oh, okay. Yes, uh, it's in the very beginning stages of it. Uh, but Hunter over there, we'd like to work with him. Okay. Uh, we're just trying to work out some USDA uh, standards there to be able to sell it in here. We really, really want to enjoy working with those guys. And I don't eat it much right now, but it's not out here yet. But your mom makes pimento cheese. Yes, she does. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a treasure here, local treasure. Uh, we sell the fire out of it. Uh, everyone loves it. It's good to make just a sandwich with, to put on top of your burger, mm -hmm. or even eat with crackers. I mean, it's just incredible. And this, you every now and then will get stuff like this. Cornbread yeah, yeah, salad, hot cocoa cake. Thing. You guys kind of... Yeah, yeah, that's, that's made uh, by my mom's uh, aunt, uh, who is my great aunt. Uh, she has this hot cocoa, which is unreal. I try to stay away from it, um, but it's incredible. Very. Very delicious. That cornbread salad, I actually eat a lot of that myself. It's very delicious. It's got red beans in there. Um, let's see, sour cream, uh, cheese. I mean, it's just, it's just really good. You mix it up. Favorite cut of meat right now? Let's see. I enjoy a bone-in New York strip, cut an inch and a half thick. Okay, that's, that's if you're going high in off the top right there. Yeah. What's the most affordable cut that you love? Most affordable, probably. I like I like good taste, um, but I'd say a sirloin. I, I try to stay on a little bit of a leaner end. Okay. Um, we we have a, a sirloin, uh, but the main thing with the sirloin is not overcooking it. Uh, you want to eat that no more than meaty uh, on a sirloin. Uh, let's see. We also have chuck eyes available for eight ninety nine a pound. That's a very affordable cut. Cut it however you want. That's one of the things we do here. Is we cut for you any thickness that you would like, um, and how many amber ounces that you want. You just tell us ahead of time. But a steak, three quarters to an inch, will fill you up. It probably cost you like five bucks. Someone wants to work out with Steve. Yeah. What do they need to do? So come work out with me. Uh, visit CrossFit Old School. Uh, you can look on their web page. Uh, you can drop in for newbie night. Uh, check it out. Once you go through a protocol phase, then you can come work out with me. You can see me every morning. I'm in there uh, usually working out about the 6 to 7 o'clock class, really whenever I'm hitting it hard. Um, you can come work out with me. It's really, really fun, nice, close-knit community there. Favorite movie you've seen this year? This year? You can do it all time if you all want. All time? My favorite movie all time is Gladiator. I love Gladiator. Not not a shock at all on that no, one. No. Gladiator, Gangs of New York. Okay. Really love that one. Favorite Halloween movie, Nightmare Before Christmas. Good for you. And, yeah. And then we talked about everything else there. Uh, and let's give a shout out. Who's your favorite niece right now? That would be Miss Tegan Harper. Um, uh, but we also have uh, Juliet Kimbrough in there too. Uh, I can't, I can't leave them out. But I get to see uh, Miss Teagan a lot. That's redheaded. It's kind of changed. It's kind of changed uh, some of your aspect of life, right? It has. It has. Uh, I like being uh, the cool uncle. Uh, I enjoy it. We spent a lot of time together. Uh, yesterday, I found a duck in my shoe. Nice. Uh, yeah, no, so we're playing a little guessing game on what we can find in Steve, Uncle Steve's shoe. But we have a good time together. She's advancing quickly, growing up too fast. So she'll be working here shortly. She will. My dad will have her here probably in the next month. All right. All right. Thanks, Thank Steve. You.